Find functional hilarity at the Biffa Emporium. Girl, it's what I heard. Allegedly, it's just the word. Allegedly, it's on the street. Allegedly, I sing to the beat. Allegedly, 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 allegedly. Allegedly. Damon Dash wants the courts to believe he doesn't have any money, so they slash his child support. According to TMZ, Dash has filed legal documentate saying enough is enough and he no longer wants to pay support for 19-year-old Ava. So he used to pay 6000 a month for two kids, but the obligation didn't stop at 18. He said he made $56,000 last year. I told you growing up hip-hop didn't pay shit. What the hell? $56,000 and you on a whole ass show? Girl, where you hiding your money? He says Rachel makes $500,000 a year and lives a lavish lifestyle with trips to Europe, Greece, and India. He also pays $3,600 for uh, the 11-year-old's private school. And he begging for retroactive back pay, honey. He want that back pay. Child, you ain't getting shit, and I think that order is going to stand. You got money somewhere. You getting more than that on growing up hip-hop. I mean, you're a producer. Child, that money in somebody's shell, corporate. Kim Sorry Ass Richards lost her lawsuit and will have to fork over $5,000 to the ghostwriter. An L.A. judge said, I'm sorry, Heffa, but you done wasted this woman's time. She done written shit for you. Just because you can't secure a deal to put it out with some profit don't mean she has to go without pay. A source at the hearing told Radar when Richards, 55, was called to testify, she began unraveling excuse after excuse as to why she hadn't paid her ghostwriter despite receiving a $300,000 advance earlier this year? What? One, what would Kim Richards have to say that's worth $300,000? I'm sorry, honey. That's like a cute little podcast interview. Don't nobody want to cuddle up with that book? That's like curling up with a cup of crack. Oh, my goodness. Does each page come with a little baggie with something in it? Oh, child, the contract said Kim would pay when she got the money from the publisher and she got the money from the publisher. You can't come up off $5,000 when you got three hundred dollars Well, you know where that money went. Right up her nose. Honestly, Kyle should have had that money. Kyle, Kyle, you better get your sister. She gonna smoke all that shit up. <laughs> oh, God. She's a mess, the source. The source said of Richards, if she doesn't follow through and produce a book for that publisher, she'll be sued for that hefty advance. So stay tuned. Joe Giudice's family is filming their reactions to his deportate frustration. And now he went on and asked to go back to Italy. He just said, you know what? If I gotta sit here in this cell, I won't even do it just to stay on U.S. soil. Go on and deport me. Go on. I, if I ain't getting this bond, they're not going to rescind this deportation. Bye, Joe. Bye. Actually, Joe getting the fuck out. They getting that um that idiot the fuck out. Everybody getting the fuck out. All right, honey. Time to clean house. That autumnal equinox. You got to clean up. You got to clean up. New life. New season. New season. But I mean, do we really give a fuck about Joe's family filming that shit? I, I don't care about Joe's family. I don't care about Joe. I never really give a fuck about felons. It Parents learn adopted daughter, six, is actually an adult con artist with dwarfism. <laughs> what? I mean, it's not funny. I know they've, they've really got to be... <laughs> really... Really, she never slipped up and was like, oh, back in 82. I mean, <laughs> and six, six, let's let's get into this. How the fuck? Oh, my God, she tried to kill her parents. Now, they was nice enough to adopt you, honey, that you in a good home. How many of us want to go back and live in our parents' house rent-free, food-free, everything motherfucking free? You see, you had a good thing and you pissed all over it. That's what happened. Girl, you could have had a free college education. Oh, my God. Christine and Michael Barnett claimed they were victims of fraud. Though the two were charged with abandoning their adopted daughter when she was nine, 
They claim she was the one who lied to them, posing as a child when she was really a teenager. They adopted Ukrainian-born Natalia Grace in May 2010 from Florida, and they were told she was six years old. Later that year, they noticed some bizarre behavior from Natalia. Christine remembers the first time she gave her adopted daughter a bath, and she was shocked to see she had full pubic hair, and a week later noticed she had gotten her period. <laughs> All you would have to do is, if my child started her period at six years old, I'm going to the doctor immediately. Like, I know some people get it earlier than others, but we just going to get you checked out. And I'm going to be like, well, for a six-year-old, for a six-year-old, and he's going to be like, this half a 32. So, <laughs> oh, my God. Ah, God. Ah. <laughs> I mean, isn't that what you would do? If, like, your kid, like, starts hitting puberty really fast and early, you go, where, wait, what about the regular ass checkups? After you get them from the adoption agency, isn't the first thing you do take them to the doctor, take them to the dentist, make sure everything's right? <laughs> they lying. They lying, y'all. They lying. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's all a lie. It was a really cute headline. But <laughs> I don't believe this shit. <laughs> Oh, God, that is a good one. <laughs> a full pubic hair and a period at six. And adult teeth. <laughs> she had a vocabulary that was an adult but preferred the presence of teens rather than of other children. She had a birth certificate that said she was from the Ukraine, but she didn't have a foreign accent, didn't understand Ukrainian, and couldn't describe her homeland. And they still have to face charges of abandoning her even though she ended up in a psychiatric facility and admitted she was 18. So I, they got to fight that shit. They got to prove that half of 18. I don't know what to believe. Because <laughs> I'm also like, when you get a child, you want a child, right? So when you get home and you find out that fucker grown, what's the name of this agency? Why weren't they mentioned in the article at all? Radar Online... Don't try to be media takeout. Child, that was that was a white version of media takeout, right? Oh, oh, I hope you enjoyed that little fairy tale. Oh my god. That is one of the most ridiculous things I have seen all year. Nick Cannon says he can never be with just one woman again and won't marry again. That's fine. Let everybody know. That way if she wanna be on the same bullshit, she knows up front. Everybody's a consenting adult. I'm sure there's some women that like, child, I want a little new dick every now and then too. So good, just be honest. Ain't gonna be no cheat tay because you already gonna know how it works. Because we've discussed the rules up front to each their own. So I'm, I'm here for it. Just be honest with people. That's all you can ask for, right? Everything ain't for everybody. And he was married to Mariah Carey. So you know, I can see him being like, I ain't going through that again. Because I like her, but she seemed real irritating. Alexis Sky and Trouble have split. The rapper says, I'm not a loving hip-hop fool who's willing to sacrifice my peace for $2,000 an episode. Child, Tierra Marie getting five, so I guess Alexis really ain't getting shit. $2,000 an episode? Girl, y'all barely get 20 episodes, including the Ryu Ryu. $20,000 after taxes is going to be about ten, and then you probably got management fees. What are you eating? Where are you living? I mean, honey, that is poverty. That is low income. Are you in public housing? Like, that's public housing salary. Mona, you should be ashamed of yourself. These people living off craft services, chicken gift cards up in the Mona Scott Young factory town. Mm, it's a damn shame. Okay, so Michelle Williams um, from Destiny's Child is upset because Michelle Williams, the actress, gave a speech and people like was in their feelings about it. 
And Michelle had to get on live and be like, now look, I am black. I don't look nothing like this woman. I don't look anything like this woman. I'm black. <laughs> oh, my God. It was a really funny post. Go over to her page and check it out. She went on for like a good 45 seconds. And she was like, I didn't have a problem with her speech. Y'all got the problem. But don't tell me because I ain't her. Terrence Howard. Girl, I saw him. Did you see him at the Emmys? Did you hear him at the Emmys? That word soup. Boo-boo, that brain is fried. It's fried. That was your brain on drugs, girl. That was your brain on drugs. I mean, that was a cocktail tea, honey. A cocktail. Lord, a little bit of upper, a little bit of downer. And some good weed to mellow you out. It was... I mean, Cooter Brown, honey, he was looking down on Cooter Brown. That's how high he was. Okay, he said, I spent 37 years pretending to people so that people would pretend to watch and enjoy what I'm doing when I've made some discovery in my own personal life with science that Pythagoras was searching for. Okay, we taking it back to the Pythagorean theorem? Is that what we're doing? We are gonna get ninth grade geometry with it. All right, all right. He was able to open the flower of life properly. Oh, you finally understand that the woman needs to have an orgasm too? Did you just get that? I imagine you'd be eating all the puss with that button penis. Maybe that's what he meant. Maybe he was finally able to get his penis to open up. Because, ooh, Lord, honey, a button tea. And find the real wave conjugations that we've been looking for for 10,000 years. Why would I continue walking on water for tips when I've got an entire generation to teach a whole new world? <laughs> That's as nutty as that grown six-year-old. Oh, my God. We've got a little more Kenya tea. So get your cups ready. It's time to sip. Kenya's divorce drama has paid off. She will now be a full-time housewife. Now, they said they are relieved not to have to work with Mark because he's difficult. And I could see him being difficult. So much of filming so far has been about Kenya and the baby and Mark. So now that she's thrown production a curveball with this new divorce plot line, they're like, okay, well, you know what? You got a meaty peach. Move over, Nene. Move over. But she's still only getting 500000 for the season. The ladies are so confused about why things went south so fast, but y'all have been working with Kenya for, what, seven years? You should know the heifer can't stay married, can't keep a man, hell, can't find a man. She always out renting one. So I'm not shocked. I'm many things, but I'm not shocked. Child, if you ain't kept a man for seven years, I don't think you're going to do anything different in the next seven. Serena Williams admits she was terrified to give birth. Who the fuck looks forward to it? I wouldn't want something coming out. Please. In other news, New Jack City is getting a reboot. Do we really need like these 80s period pieces? Y'all can't tell no other story of what's going on today. We got to take it back to Crackland. You ain't got nothing else to talk about, huh? Okay. Loved the first one. Loved it. I ain't going to see this one. Again, it's, uh, they really do need to stop fucking with these classics. Like, or at least like let 50 years go by. This shit's like, I can remember it. It was 1991. I was nine. Give it another 20 years. Let people forget about it. Lil Duval was booed for pulling a bait and switch. Instead of doing comedy, he sang three songs and left the stage. He should have been booed because of his bobblehead. She should have been booed because of his ignorance. He should have been booed because he's ugly. I mean, I, like, if you paying to go see him, I hate to say it, but who was the mark and who was the moron? Fool and their money are soon parted. Okay, Remy Ma is anti-snitching, but we also know Remy Ma is a fucking idiot. She said, can I get off this couch while she's giving advice on how to fucking snitch? She's telling y'all how to snitch and y'all just sitting here listening to it? Don't fucking do nothing. If you can't do no time, don't do nothing. Yeah, that's easy to say after the fucking fact. I feel like this. If you with somebody and they doing dirt, you already know they'll do it to them, they'll do it to you. So you better snitch first. Snitching is about taking an opportunity that life has presented you and making the fucking most of it. You only get so many years on this earth. You really think I'm going to give some of them up for you? 
I'm sorry, that's idiot thing. That's idiot thing. That woman who sued uh, Kevin Hart for 60 million, well, child, that case got dismissed for no jurisdiction. We'll see if she refiles. She ain't gonna get shit. See, everybody had honestly forgotten about you. I, I don't know why you wanted to stir up the turd with this shit. I guess, you know, try to get your followers up or whatever, get your clout on. I hope it worked. Lizzo has sold out Radio City Music Hall twice. You better go ahead, girl. Black China's new mystery man sucks her toes at dinner. Ugh. You really want... God, what the fuck? Foot, the other white meat. <laughs> Remember them old pork commercials? In today's top stories, Penelope Thomas Bailey. Oh my goodness, honey, you kept your nose clean. Well, actually, no, you did just get arrested over a long weekend for bouncing a $4,000 check. Now, I, and I thought that was petty. I thought that was real petty of them. But you know what? Money owed is money owed. And the government feels the same way because, according to the blast, you owe $237,000 in unpaid taxes. According to federal records, Peter's Sports One Bar and Lounge in Charlotte will be closing its doors after racking up the huge debt. Sources close to Peter tell TMZ the bar didn't have enough money to stay afloat after committing funds to other projects and the place fell behind on its taxes. We're told the bar will be shuttered for three to six months while Peter's legal team tries to scare up money for the debt. However, somebody got in my DMs and gave me a little more personal tea. Now, this is just the allegedly show, y'all, so let's take this with a salt of grain, but I think it's true enough to bring it to you. Now, first, I done heard that bar's the size of a postage stamp. Let's talk about that. So I don't know how you fucking up when you got a tiny little business in Charlotte. It's not even like it's high-ass Atlanta. Charlotte ain't that damn high. But I'm not going to say who gave me the tea because I didn't ask her. But here's what she wrote. She said it's a well-known fact that Peter did not pay his contractors for a lot of work done on the now permanently closed Club One that he also had in Charlotte. She worked there for a few weeks before she had to quit, and then she had to run them down for her damn money. They were supposed to be shooting a reality show about three years ago centered around the club. His current girlfriend, Tony, was his assistant. An assistant. Clearly, the show never came to fruition, but they did start filming very briefly. His excuse was that his manager in the revolving door of managers of both businesses had ran off with all the money as if it mattered when it came down to paying me. Some of the girls never got paid. Marceau also contracts there. Remember Marceau was talking about Charlotte? Child T. T. Well, this is water, but T. She said he's one of the rudest little arrogant men she's ever met and has zero respect for most women, especially if you're working with him. I believe every word that she told me. I mean, everybody has said in the comments, Peter, maybe you just need to be a bar manager and not a bar owner. Like uh, a cashier T, perhaps, because the whole thing, you done fucked up bar one, bar none, sports one, club one. I mean, where are you getting these loans from? Who keeps going into business with you? I wonder what Cordelia Stewart has to say about this. Maybe you could trot on over to Booty Toot Stewart. Ask him for a little extra coin. Because I did hear that he partnered with you for these bullshit, embarrassing ass businesses. I guess he threw that money away, child. You probably got more than Portia, unless you got to pay him back. I try to talk to the toot. Because, honey, like J.G. Wentworth, you need cash now. Mm. And how you gonna make money when your business has shuttered? Shuttered. I, where, where is the coin gonna come from? I know Cynthia is like, well, guess I dodged a bullet on that one. That would have been a quarter of her season. A quarter of her season. Actually half, because she got to pay taxes on that money too. Since you don't know nothing about taxes, let me tell you how you pay them. So those were today's top stories, but I'll see you soon for something. Alleged what? Alleged who? Allegedly, Lily. Allegedly. Don't blame. Don't sue. Allegedly.
allegedly, allegedly.